Hi everyone and welcome to today's tutorial where I will be showing you how I do my green eyebrows to match my hair. If you've seen me on Instagram or my previous videos with black hair, you will notice that I used to do my eyebrows as just a block of solid black eyeliner. So I think this is honestly very natural, you know, a natural brown for a natural hair colour. So this is actually a pretty quick and simple tutorial. I do my eyebrows like this every day, you know, it takes me probably less than five minutes, five minutes max. So just keep on watching to find out more. So first I'm going to start off by taking my darker eyeliner and starting to shape my eyebrows. So I sort of try and go just up from my inner corner and making a little dot. I don't really like to do the sort of mapping out where I think it's a dot here, a dot at the end of your pupil and then somewhere down here to get the end. I just sort of shape it as I see because mine are quite extreme. So I'm just freehanding the shape on and then I'll do the other one. This is my starting shape. Um, it does look like a lot, but I will be filling in from here up so it ends up not too angular. It's actually sort of fairly straight, but with quite an arch. With the dark pencil, I fill in the tail of the brow as well. And I just thicken it up from the top. So this line that I've drawn is the very bottom of my eyebrow and then I go in over the top of it. I also bring this just into the center a bit so it blends a little. I also sharpen my pencil once every day or two. Um, I like to make sure I'm working with something very sharp. I didn't for a while when I was doing these eyebrows and it became very ugly very quickly because it was just, as you can imagine, something that's not sharp. It's just, you can't be as precise. So I'm just sort of seeing if the arch is about at the same place on both eyes before taking the tail down. So there we go, those are looking pretty even to me as a starting point. So next I'm taking a NYX eyeliner, um, I've just popped them on my hand so you can see the differences. This is the eyeliner I was just using, um, it's a lot darker and richer and it's got more of like a gel like texture, um, but this NYX one is drier and it is lighter so I like to do that for the front of my brow. I would not have thought of this or gone out and bought it for this particular purpose. But when I was shifting overseas, I accidentally lost my makeup bag with the darker green pencil and it was all I had. So I went out and bought another one, my hair had slightly faded so I got a slightly lighter one. So yeah, I really like using the two different pencils in combination with each other but it's not something that's strictly necessary. So now I just sort of start making hair like strokes to give the illusion of a real eyebrow. I'm obviously not looking for a completely natural, you know, make the eyebrow look exactly like human hair sort of thing. I think it's part of the fun and part of the look that it is a little cartoonish. You can see I've sort of drawn the hairs in and then I like to just blend this bottom darker line out so it's a little bit more blended. Then onto the other eye. So 
And that's the pencil portion of the eyebrows. I really like a square end to these green eyebrows. When I was doing my black ones, it was always rounded because it was just like a straight black eyeliner. Um, but I didn't think that was really going to work with green. And it was going to be harder to find a green. I would probably end up getting like a liquid lipstick or something to work. But I thought I just changed my whole brow routine instead. So next time I'm taking a very thin angled brush, which I think is for eyebrows because it's got a spoolie on it, but that's not a lot of use to me. Sometimes if my brow is just looking a bit too blocky and thick, I actually find a spoolie helps for just sort of blending out the liner. I don't know, it makes it feel a little bit less useless. So the green I use for my eyebrows is actually from this Urban Decay Moon Dust palette. It's an entirely metallic palette and I use this green here which as you can see I'm very much almost out of and I don't really know what I'm going to do when I reach the end. I also like using quite a glittery or metallic shadow because I think it gives the brows a little bit more dimension which helps when they're not real. I'm just getting a bit on my brush, dotting it along the edge and sort of pulling it up. is sort of blending away those quite structured eyebrows that I drew on. It just sort of softens everything up. And I just sort of blend it into the darker eyeliner but I don't like to go over the whole eyebrow with this because I do like that light to dark gradient. Just touching up so that it's quite opaque. The shadow also helps to make the two eyeliners sort of blend together a bit. It just, you know, it really gradients everything and smooths it out. The good thing with such a pointed brush as well, so you can really define the areas you want angles and it's great for just enhancing little hairs if you want to as well. I definitely find it tricky going into the side that isn't my dominant hand just because it's so easy to do this um, I've thought about training to do it with my left hand but I think that's maybe a step too far so you can see here sort of what that glittery sheen does to the eyebrow just an extra dimension. This is sort of a, a really emeraldy green with aqua sort of glittery shift. It was the only green eyeshadow I had at the time and still the only green eyeshadow I have. But I get a lot of compliments on it so I guess it works. I don't know. I would think, I would say with coloured brows like go for a bit of glitter in them. Even if you don't have them like sometimes for a night out when I had black hair. I would love to do the end of my eyebrows with like a silver glitter so it would just hit the light sometimes. Because the darker eyeliner is a gel eyeliner, it's also quite easy to just really sharpen and fix any. You can see on this side, it comes to quite a point already. And even though I did this side first and it was sharp, it's just a little not too tidy. So you can sort of work the brush into the eyeliner and it's still emollient enough to be able to just bring it down and get it nice and sharp. And here are the finished brows. I've also brushed down my fringe so it doesn't look quite so strange. As you can see, they're still fairly visible with this fringe. I do have to trim it quite often so that you can still see them. But sometimes when it's long, I can definitely get away with not wearing eyebrows, which is honestly quite delightful. So yeah, hope this helped. These are some of my favourite products for sort of green hair. It worked when my hair was sort of more of a dark foresty green as well. So maybe even if you do have real eyebrows and you have green hair, these products might help you find a really good shade that matches. I know there are tutorials out there for making a fully realistic looking brow um, if you have no eyebrows, but it's not really achievable on a day to day, especially for me. like. As much makeup as I put on, I do sort of slap it on and go. It usually takes me about 20 minutes. I'm not hugely invested in putting time in, and especially with a fringe, like, 
so yeah thank you for watching i hope this was helpful informative or at least a little bit entertaining and i'll catch you in the next one bye